Hi everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I've got a really simple Christmas card for you today using the Cottage Reese Bundle from the 2022 Stampin' Up! Catalog, or Stampin' Up! Mini Holiday Catalog. Um, we're gonna use the little skinny wreath right here to create that, and I'm gonna show you kind of a special tip for lining up your dies. All right, now we're going to use our Stamparatus. Um, I just find it a little bit easier to handle larger stamps with a Stamparatus. It's not necessary for sure, but it definitely does make things easier. All right, so you'll notice my um, image has the, this black mark on it. I made that with my Sharpie so that the very first time I used it, I got these out and lined them up to find out exactly where they match, where they line up. That way I'm not sitting there going around and around and around when I'm ready to cut it out every single time. I did it one time, got all matched up. Here's the little notch on the die. Um, both the larger wreath dies have this notch. And if you'll just notch your stamps with um, a Sharpie, then you'll know every time which way it goes, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pick this up and we're just gonna ink this in early espresso. Lay it down like that. All right, now I'm going to take this image, the two little kind of pine sprigs, if you will, and I'm going to use garden green, and I'm going to stamp and then stamp again. Each time I stamp, I'm going to stamp again over on the opposite side. That's going to create kind of a dark and a light sprig while I'm stamping. Okay, sometimes I'm doing it on the inside, sometimes I'm doing it on the outside. There's no real rhyme or reason. These sprigs aren't gonna line up with the die. They're just gonna kind of be a fill-in. It's the branch, the, um, tr the sprig circle that it lines up with. All right, now I'm gonna take the berries with some real red and we'll just Go around and add some berries, however many you want. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna set this over here for a second because I've also got this circle right here that we're gonna layer that on. And I wanna stamp these sprigs around the edge of my circle as well. You'll see why once we mount it, it kind of, it gives your wreath a little bit of a full, fuller look. This is the second largest stitched circle from the stitched circle dies. There we go, okay? Now we are ready to cut this out. Remember where you had your notch, okay? Up in that top corner. Let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. I'll start on this side. I don't know about you guys, but I always like to start on the left side when I run my machine through. Is, I don't know, does everybody do that? Or is that just something weird that I do? I don't know. All right, so we're gonna turn it till we get it right there. Remember that notch needs to be up there towards the top. And once you get it in place, you'll see that these branches are lining up exactly into each of the little you know, grooves of your die. The green sprigs will not, they're gonna be sticking out some, but that's okay. Okay, so now there we have it right there. And we'll move this out of the way. And we're gonna put some dimensionals, mini dimensionals probably is what we need. On the back, I think maybe four or five would be plenty. And we're gonna set this right in there. See how those sprigs on the outside just make our wreath look a little bit fuller. All right, I think we're ready to put our card together. I have a basic white thick card base and I have a three and a fourth by four and a fourth inch piece of our uh, gingham cottage 
our cottage gingham designer series paper and I'm putting it on a piece of basic red that's just a quarter inch bigger and actually before we do that and I actually wanted to use dimensionals so I've got a scalloped border just two little bumps of a scalloped border I'm going to adhere that right behind up here in the corner okay like that now I put the regular dimension uh, regular adhesive on there but I forgot I want to use dimensionals I love dimensionals so of course I want dimensionals on here all right we're going to put that right in the middle of our card all right I have a strip of craft paper just a one inch strip I'm going to put it in here in our pick a banner punch and we're going to adhere that right across the bottom section of our DSP all right now let's bring over our wreath a few more dimensionals And we're gonna put that kind of over to the right. I have a stitched banner, also from the Stylus Shape dies. We're gonna stamp Merry Christmas on the right side um, of it. And I'm just gonna put adhesive there on the left so that I can adhere it kind of like flat to the wreath right there. I have cut out a heart from our red um, heart a bow from our red glimmer paper and we're gonna put that right there and be done that's a fast and easy card that you can make for christmas this year all right make sure you hop over to my blog there are uh, two other uh, cottage wreath projects for you as well as a free pdf with all the measurements and the complete supply list and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks everybody bye bye